We're just trying to get her to breathe again. It was definitely responding to us in some way. We thought it meant, we thought we'd saved her, but it was. About 71% of our planet is covered in ocean. Our ocean is home to beautiful, vibrant corals, diverse marine life, algae colonies that produce more oxygen than every tree on this earth, but also 14 billion pounds of trash, 1.3 million gallons of oil, and other types of runoff from factories, vehicles, and sewage. Our marine life gets severely hurt. Our beautiful beaches turn into garbage dumps for miles and miles on end, turning blue waters into brown murky waters, not suitable or humane for anything to live on it. All these plastics and unusual substances entering our ocean doesn't only affect the sea life but also us. Microplastics enter our food by entering our fish. There is just so much pollution, it seems almost impossible to defeat. But if we expose the topic to our young, up to our young adults, we can start a conversation. Together, we can take action. Including ocean pollution education in our schools can influence the youth to protest to speak up to greedy corporations, and even organize public cleanup events. Educating our youth will lead to prevention by teaching them exactly what not to do and making that the norm. In 2018, a bill passed that allowed for the development of environmental literacy to be included in the curriculum. Unfortunately, it hasn't seemed to have been included yet. As ocean pollution is an urgent matter, it's important to make the change happen now. Or, at the very least, encourage teachers to take action by joining organizations such as the Half Earth Project. If more of our youth were educated, we can make a difference. To make a difference, please contact the superintendent of the Alameda County Office of Education, L. Karen Monroe. Let's not just save the turtles, let's save the ocean. It's our ocean, our future, our responsibility.